ericmothersmother.com. Let's take a look at two charts. The first one is for Best Buy. We're going to be taking a look at this major law in 2013. And we're also going to be taking a look at the S&P 500. With the major law here in early 2009. Now there are some similarities between these two points or these two price lows for Best Buy and for the S&P 500 and it goes to show how the RSI has an amazing memory. All right let's take a look at Best Buy now remember this is oversimplification the point of it is that this is a short video just highlighting one aspect that could be many other ways of looking at this. But what we're going to do here is draw a single line in each case now, I should have stressed here that this is a long-term monthly chart for Best Buy. This is all data from 1985 to the current market here in 2018. And what you see with the line is that it connects the lows here. This lows, this lows, this lows, and ultimately this low, which is the lows of, let's call it late, or eight and then the lows here which are the major lows for late 2012 early 2013 so one more time we see how a single line of the rsi found support here at the lows of early 2013 and the line goes back all the way to 1987. If we take a look at the S&P 500, we can do something similar. If we take the lows here, again 1987, and connect the lows, we can see it connects the lows here, the lows here, which is the lows of 2002 and it connects right there at the lows of early 2009. So clearly the RSI has an amazing memory and can be used from time to time in identifying major turn points. Eric Mother's mother with mother.com as always good luck, peace and blessings. E, a C, S. Woo.